The NBA season is young. The Knicks are 5-5 five and five right now. Good enough for ninth in the Eastern Conference. Here to break down the season so far is Mikey Dent and Dylan Brent. Guys, the conversation starts with Julius Randle. He's averaging 18 points per game this year, but he's shooting 34% from the field. If you take away his rookie year where he only played one game, that's a career low. So Dylan, what does Julius Randle have to do to overcome his struggles? I think it all boils down to just playing within himself and not trying to do too much out there. When your All-NBA talent is struggling, it's kind of an opportunity for the younger guys to step up. So Dylan, which of the younger guys need to step up for the Knicks to remain consistent? I think a lot of people will look at guys like R.J. Barrett to potentially step up. Obviously, he's kind of the third option on this team. So what if R.J. Barrett doesn't take the next step? What if Quentin Grimes and Emmanuel quickly aren't great behind the arc? Dylan, what route do you take? Do you build around these younger players, or do you look to trade for a star? Well, let me tell you one thing. Yeah, the fans are going to be unhappy either way. The timing is kind of poor. Joel Embiid, 33 points per game. That leads the league. But I want to talk about the Nets now. First full year under Jack Vaughn. He took over for Steve Nash in November of last year. Dylan, what are the expectations for Brooklyn? I think this year is going to be a more telling year than any for Jock Vaughn with the New York Nets because of the Brooklyn Nets, excuse me. Welcome back to Sports Beat. It is time for your Hofter Pride Top 5. We are in a beauty spot of the athletic calendar. Both fall and winter sports are going on. And let's kick it off with number 5. Hofter men's basketball facing Princeton at the MAC. Down 8 in the second half. Darlingstone Dubar gets the pass from Yako Fritz. A clean snatch back. Gets the lucky bounce and the bucket. Dubar. Finished with a team high, 18 points on 55% shooting from the field. Here's another look at it. Princeton's Caden Pierce stopped on a dime, but the Tigers take down the pride 74-67 to stay undefeated on the year. Let's go to the pitch. Number four, Hofstra Men's Soccer versus Delaware. CAA Championship semifinals. The pride already flying high over the Blue Hens. Four different players touching the ball and route to Albert Kang, cutting it back and putting it bottom left for his second goal of the season. I would say you won't see many goals better than that, but stay tuned later in the top five. Let's take another look at this beauty. It is always hard to play the European tiki taka style of football near or even close to the penalty box, but Hofstra makes it look easy. Kang hadn't scored in over two months, but puts the cherry on top of a 4-1 Hofstra win. The Pride move on to the CAA Championship Finals. They will be facing Monmouth, their fourth straight appearance in the title game and looking at three penis champions. If you think Hofstra's a soccer school, you'd be correct. Number three, Hofstra Volleyball facing Charleston. Tied up at eight in the fifth set. Just when it seemed like the Pride had the point secured, Charleston had the answer. But what a bum save by Isidore Stageley. Yamor Janelle finishes the point off with the amazing kill. That is a bump, set, spike at its finest. Here's another look at it. Charleston had a great save itself, but anything you can do, I can do better. Stageley extending that arm for the save, and from there, it was business as usual for the Pride. That was Janelle's 287th kill of the year. Second on the team, Hofstra ended up falling to Charleston 3-2 and missing out on the CAA tournament. Let's go to number two now. Hofstra women's basketball taking on Wagner. Down three with 38 seconds to go. Torelli Neza, a clutch three-pointer to tie the game. Ice in her veins. She did go three for 13 from the field, but no bucket mattered more. Pride take the 51-48 overtime victory to move to 1-1 one one on the year. With four minutes to go, an electric free kick to give the Pride a 2-1 lead. The emotion on his face tells you all you need to know. Here's the replay. Takes it himself, scores his eighth goal of the year as the Pride win the CAA championship for the third straight year and book their trip to the NCAA tournament. That is your Pride Top 5. And meanwhile, we're in a cross-section of the season. Hofstra men's basketball kicked off the season with back-to-back -back home games. Jason White takes us to Hofstra start to the year. Looking ahead to basketball, Tyler Thomas is obviously supposed to be the guy. The lights seemed a bit bright in the first two games of the season, but Dylan, what is your assessment of Tyler Thomas so far? Well, look, people very quickly forget, this is a team that went on a bit of a rough stretch in November and December last season. 